I will call the California Military Institute regular board meeting to order at 546 p.m. I'm going to ask for a roll call to determine a quorum. Trustee Nelson? Here. Trustee Vallejo? Here. Trustee Stafford? Here. Trustee Campos? Here. And myself? Here. We've established a quorum. Item 3.1, invitation to address the Board of Trustees on closed session items only. Are there any public comments on closed session items? There are no public comments. Thank you. Item 4.1, adjourn to closed session. Is that, is that necessary? Is it necessary? Is it necessary? It is necessary? All right, do I have a motion to adjourn to closed session? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Please vote. Item 4.1 is a 5-0 vote. We are adjourning the closed session at 5.47 p.m. Item 5.1, the regular board meeting of the California Military Institute is reconvening at 6.05 p.m. Item 6.1, revision adoption, ordering of agenda September 18, 2024. Do I have a motion? So moved. Any discussion? See none, please vote. Item 6.1 is a 5-0 vote. Item 7.1, report out of closed session. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, in closed session, the Board of Trustees approved seven temporary and 25 two-year student physical education. Uh, I believe that's the regular regular board meeting. Where is there, this oh, is CMI. CMI. Sorry. CMI. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's your I first time. We'll, we'll let it first slide time. this time. Okay. We'll let it slide. As long as it doesn't happen the second time, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, no reports out of closed session, sir. Thank you. Item, <laughs> <laughs> item 7.2, student representatives to the Board of Trustees. I believe that's me. So uh, from CMI, we have student representative cadet major Ariana Abreez-Smith. Good morning. I'm cadet major Ariana Abreez, the 9th Brigade Commander and I'll be going over the events and activities for September. So first is a recap of the events we had in August, which is when our fall sports began. So football, cheer, cross country, and also girls volleyball. We had our senior sunrise on August 21st at CMI, our back to school night on August 22nd, and we did several color guards, which include the State of City Address in Moreno Valley, our back to school night, our home football games on August 23rd and September 6th, and we also did a color guard for AYSO. And our last event in August was our club rush on August 27th, which promoted our CMI clubs. Our first event for September was our MHD, which took place on September 5th. We had six adults accompany us on this trip and a total of 21 team members, with seven on rifle team, 10 on ushers, a shell girl, our commander, our bugler, and also a cadet taking pictures. Our next event was the robotics kickoff at Liberty High School, which took place on September 7th. Our next event was our 9-11 Remembrance Formation, and due to the school closure on September 11th, we rescheduled this formation for September 12th, which was a special formation to pay tribute to 9-11. Our upcoming event for September is our Non-Commissioned Officer Academy, which is scheduled to take place on September 27th through the 28th, and this is an event that allows cadets the rank of corporal and above to gain beneficial knowledge of an NCO and also gives them the opportunity to promote. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Item 7.3, CSEA President Rosa Galvan. Thank you. 7.4, CMITA President Angel Love Barons. Greetings, Board of Trustees, Cabinet, and our esteemed new Superintendent, Dr. Aru. 
We are off to a great start of a new school year under Dr. Dotson's direction and leadership. Common ground and conversations are quickly building as well as normalizing the day-to-day -day businesses of educating and developing the culture, mindset, and futures of our students. As the president of CMITA, I hope we will be able to close out negotiations still remaining from last year. My concerns lead me to the delay that occurred last year with Sunshine Articles. To reiterate what we're negotiating tomorrow morning at 8.30 is last year's Sunshines. We still need to open and negotiate two articles plus pay and benefits going forward. The last but very important issues still on the table are Article 15, Compensation and Benefits, as well as Article 10, Leaves of Absences. This process has been time consuming to say the least. We started last January. Being aware of the budget restraints, we know we need to be strategic and mindful of what we are willing to dig in our heels on and fight for. Stipends and pay are unequal and are both vastly under what PSEA and other members within the district have compared to our members. For example, our cross country coach at CMI has 62 athletes with one coach and is allotted only one assistant coach. Let me add that our stipends are much lower than other schools, not just in this district. We struggle to attract coaches to fill the positions needed to fairly and equitably coach the, both the boys and the girls' sports in many areas. For the safety of our members, we need industrial accident leave. Currently, our members must see their own, use their own sick time if injured on campus by ill-maintained facilities or any type of industrial accident that may harm us unless we are put on 14 consecutive days of disability by a medical doctor. We have asked in negotiations multiple times to present the costs associated with this inclusion into our CBA. Last spring, we asked for the information and nothing was provided. As we are heading into negotiations tomorrow morning at 8.30, I want to publicly ask for that information. It's simply, to simply be put off to the next meeting is not productive and a waste of time for everyone. At the June's board meeting, I quoted a few statements that we have heard repeatedly about these articles, especially when it came to equal stipends or at least more compensated stipends and our industrial accident leave. The charter does not wish to take on any additional financial commitment at, at this time. The Board of Trustees has not authorized this, meaning the industrial accident leave of Article 10. In addition, we are asked what the premium costs are for our workers' compensation insurance. We were told it was 3.5% district-wide, including us. If this indeed is the cost, why can we not have industrial accident leave that is equal to PSEAs. When this was asked in negotiations, we were told simply, we can't. The excuses that the financial costs cannot be taken on at this time does not hold water. This is a good representation of different levels of bias the certificated staff at CMI is viewed by. CMITA members have been valued by the additions to our CBA over the last couple of years. We have made great strides because of you. This, one of the, this is one of the key remaining areas that we will continue to work and push for through the con, uh, coveted process of negotiations. We are confident that the charter supported by the Board of Trustees and our superintendent 
we can find the common ground in order to ratify our new CBA. Thank you. Item 7.5, principles update. Good evening, Mr. President, uh, board trustees, Dr. Arrow and cabinet members. I am Dr. Dotson here representing CMI. I, in order to uh, honor everyone's time commitment, I'll keep my, uh, my comments brief. I had a 127 page presentation, but I cut it down because, just because of the timing. All right, so at CMI, our enrollment update, so uh, we, CMI received over 250 new applications this year. Our enrollment stands right now at 1,033 students, cadets. Uh, while enrollment is important, our capture rate is also extremely important. I didn't put this one in there, so our return school is back there. Don't be up looking at me hard. <laughs> We do have, however, we do have the highest attendance rate so right now at this point in the district. And our, our attendance rate also increased from last year. Um, last year, uh, our August attendance rate was 95.21, this year it's 96. So we've increased about 1.11 percentage points. So it's always a good sign. Academics, students are finishing up the six week grading period, uh, utilizing dedicated intervention time, improve academic achievement. Our college and career readiness, this is our largest senior class in CMI history. We have 136 cadets, senior cadets, so, which is outstanding. We had our first LPAC meeting of the year. We have our next one coming up very soon. I believe it's uh, next week. Um, we, have 100, we had 141 students who were tested uh, um, during LPAC. We had 48 that were uh, re reclassified or redesignated, and our upcoming plans are to celebrate all of our students with our FEP Ed with the 2024 LPAC assessment. Uh, our first military advisory council of the school year uh, with General Cross um, was happened already this year, and you'll see me right there. It was new to me also. Um, but yeah, it was a good meeting. We discussed a whole lot of things that are going on between with the with the uh, with the cadre and with the uh, with the civilian. This is one of my priorities: is to bring both sides together to to include the uh, military personnel more, get them more involved with the uh, with the the civil, civilian personnel at the school. And before we. Before I leave this one, I just want to say that um, General Cross will be on, on campus next Friday. Next Friday, um, the, the uh, cadre is presenting uh, former principal Dr. Milos with a, uh, an award a presentation for his service at uh, CMI. So I'm cordially inviting anyone who's available at uh, 8.30 during formation next Friday. Uh, if, you, if, you would, if you're available, we would love to see you attend. I know, Dr. Arau, I know you'll be there because I know General Cross wants to meet with you. Um, and then just, just uh, for something for your radar, uh, on November 6th, we will be having our first pass and review. So once again, I'm cordially inviting everyone who's available to uh, come over to CMI and, and, and watch the cadets uh, do what they do. They put a lot of hard work into this, to their pass and review to make it, uh, make it as, as professional looking as possible. So. If you uh, if you're available, please attend. Thank you so much. That concludes my presentation. Pending any questions. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> item 8.1, invitation to address the board of trustees on non-agendized items. Are there, there any public comments on non-agendized items? There are no public comments. Thank you. Item 9.1, consent calendar. Approval of consent calendar items. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? See none, please vote. Item 9.1 passes 5-0. Item 10.1 discipline, August 2024 monthly suspension report. 
item 11.1 personnel certificated action items. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? See none, please vote. Item 11.1 is a 5-0 vote. Item 12.1, other items by the superintendent. Thank you, Mr. President. When Dr. Datsun, when you were saying because of time constraints, I have a 120 pages presentation, but I'm not going to do all of them. It, as long as he doesn't say, I'm going to do only 125. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say thank you to all the CMI staff for welcoming me. I have the opportunity to be there and uh, interact with several staff members as well as students. Uh, I attended a football game. It's a wonderful experience to be there at CMI. They, they play really, really well. And most importantly, the sportsmanship that our students, athletes, uh, that they showed. I have the opportunity to visit some classrooms also. And I witnessed excellent instructional strategies as we debrief after visiting the classrooms, Dr. Datsun and I. So uh, very pleased to have this opportunity to serve the students and the families at CMI. Thank you. Item 13.1, other items by the Board of Trustees. Trustee Nelson? Nothing for me today, thank you. Thank you, Trustee Vallejo? Yeah, I just wanna say that I went to the CMI back to school night, and man, I was really impressed by their, um, their, their gaming class, their gaming, oh my gosh, like, I don't know, you guys gotta go there. It was like really nice gaming chairs, like it looked legit, and the students were, were very happy with it and they were showing me that it's not just for games like they build like a business plan and it's a really great program i'm very happy that we invested money in that because there's such a huge need there too because technology is really advancing and i'm very impressed to see that because students really love it the parents loved it so i really 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 appreciate that and uh, it was nice to see the school again i i spoke to some teachers and I just wanna say that CMI is doing great. I love your band. Your band is amazing. You guys have an amazing instructor. And I just, I really like CMI. Thank you. Thank you. Trustee Stafford? Um, one question, your pass and review you said is? Yes. November 6th. And when you said next Friday, you mean next week, right? For well, next Friday is the uh, 20, 27. 27. Okay, okay, two different ones. Okay, I wanted to make sure, I wanna to try to attend, so. Okay, um, thank you for everything, and congratulations on keeping your attendance up, and that's always a good high point for your school, and, and say hello to your staff, and have a great year. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Trustee Stafford. Trustee Campos. Uh, yeah, number one, you know, um, I want to kind of piggyback on, on Trustee Vallejo and what she mentioned about the, the band. The band's awesome. I think the band's really, really good. Um, I was also able to attend the football game, and, and that was a great event because you always hear the band rocking in the back. And just, uh, you know, it, we're, it seems like we're off to a great year, and, and I know it's going to be a great year under your leadership, Dr. Dotson, for all that you're doing there. Um, please thank your staff. I know that they were the ones that uh, made a big push and effort for those uh, attendance reports, and I'm sure that you're going to go ahead and and maintain, if not shatter that, and, and go from there. But um, I just wanted to confirm, so General Cross will be there on the 27th for the presentation document. Okay, because I messed up on my notes and I put 11.6 instead of one, or I put one instead of six, so thank you for that. But no, just in general, um, I hope you guys have a great year. And you know, uh, if Dr. Angel just make sure that everything keeps moving on and, and the communication I think so far has been great. So I think we're off to a great start. And, have a good one. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Campos. And myself, I want to thank Mr. Dodds. I'll get your name right. I, I know you want me to call you by your first name, but Mr. Dodson, I appreciate everything you're doing in your service. And I want to thank all the CMI staff. You guys are phenomenal. And uh, I've talked about it last month, but we have some goals for you guys, and we're going to try to achieve them all together. And I hope negotiations goes well for you guys tomorrow. And on another note, when we went to the football game, right? 
When we went to the football game, I did not get bit by mosquitoes, and I think it was because of you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. Item 14.1, adjournment. Do I have a motion? So moved. Any discussion? See none, please vote. Item 14.1 passes 5-0, and this meeting is adjourned at 624.